My choice this week is a 1974 gem by Jacques Rivette, the former Cahiers du Cinema critic turned hero of the Nouvelle Vague. Celine and Julie Go Boating proved Rivette's most endearing, enduring and weirdly influential film, a cult favourite loved by filmmakers and film fans alike. Mais qu'est-ce que tu fous Qu'est-ce qui te prend, merde Rien, rien, rien Je me souviens de rien, je suis incapable de quoi que ce soit. Pour de votre première classe. Petit slip. Écoute, moi, je bite que dalle à ton cirque, là. Hein? T'as as, as un trou de mémoire, c'est tout. T'as été choqué, hein Usually, it began like this, says the on-screen title, which suggests that what we're about to see has happened before and is going to happen again. <laughs> Juliette Berto and Dominique Laborie are Celine and Julie, respectively an illusionist and a librarian who wind up sharing each other's clothes, lives, ideas and identities. Together they tumble down a fanciful rabbit hole which leads to a sinister mansion where they first watch and then slowly begin to partake in a ghostly time-travelling tale of intrigue, mystery and murder. With characters locked in repeating cycles of action, of performances within performances and stories within stories, Rivette's film can be read in a number of different ways. On one level, it's a story about the authors becoming the audience. On another, it's a playful discourse about reality and illusion, a self-reflexive look at the phantasmagorial nature of cinema itself. The intertwining narrative mixes elements of Lewis Carroll, Proust and Henry James, while the screenplay includes credits for all the main cast members who are invited to add their input and improvised dialogue, along with Rivette and co-writer Eduardo de Gregorio. A comparative commercial hit on its first release, Celine and Julie Go Boating has since become a much sought-after cult item which has influenced everyone from David Lynch to Susan Seidelman. It was also hailed as an influential female buddy movie by critic Jonathan Rosenbaum, who wrote that many women consider it to be their favourite film about female friendship. And many men too. Mm -hmm. 